Hello everyone. Welcome to this lecture on in continuation to our software defined data center lecture series. What we discussed in part one, we discussed about why SDDC. We discussed about how the business models have changed over the past few years and how this digital revolution is transforming and shaping all the business, traditional business models and industries. Then we touch upon what are the challenges with the hardware centric data center and how it was difficult to achieve a more agile and flexibility with the traditional hardware bound data center. So we discuss about those hardware centric data center issues. Now, what we're going to discuss in part two is about what is software defined data center? What exactly is software defined data center? And then we're going to discuss about what are the building blocks of software defined data center? So folks who have not attended part one, I would strongly recommend them to first go and check out part one of this software defined data center lecture series before furthering before continuing with the part two. So let's get started. What is SDDC? So let's go and let's go 20 years back or 30 years back when there was no concept of virtualization. So what used to happen in those days, as you could see that in this particular slide, early those days, all our services were running in the hardware. All of the intelligence were present in the hardware and all of these hardwares were vendor specific. We were having a very dedicated, a vendor specific infrastructure. And we, were, we used to do a lot of manual configurations and management for the network configuration, for the storage configurations. But, and that was a, a, a bit more complicated way of building up the infrastructure and used to take maybe you know weeks or months of time frame. Now, what exactly this virtualization layer did for us? This virtualization layer with the introduction of this virtualization layer or hypervisor so-called, all the intelligence, they took it out from the hardware and they implemented that intelligence in a distributed fashion in a software. They provided us an operational model of a VM for a data center and because of everything is running into a software and it's all about software, it gives us a capability of doing the automation, end-to-end -end automation in terms of configurations and management. And at the end, it simplified our life. So that's what this data center virtualization layer is doing it for us, where basically all the intelligence, the control plane sitting into the software and your hardware is just become a pool of compute network and storage capacity. We, we never expect any kind of intelligent operations from the hardware anymore because that in, intelligent operations or control plane has been shifted from hardware to software. And hardware is just giving us a pool of compute network and storage capacity, vendor independent, and it also gives us a very cheaper cost than, than of what we used to have in the early days when we were having a very intelligent hardware. So that's what this data center virtualization layer has done, done it. Now let's look at this particular slide. It says that when we were having an enterprise applications, so early days, all of your enterprise applications were tightly coupled with the underlying storage, underlying network, underlying compute hardware. For example, as you could see that, you know, you're switching, routing, firewall, load balancing, it used to be dependent directly on the underlying network hardware whether you are taking a best of the breed hardware from Cisco, Juniper, Palo Alto, we're giving you the best of the switching routing and firewall services. And that's where our applications were tightly coupled with the underlying hardware. And we had a lot of vendor dependency issues. But with this new approach, what Google and Amazon or Facebook have come up with, or they adopted, where basically they created a custom distributed applications and they took out all the intelligence from the hardware and they developed that intelligence into their software in a distributed fashion. And since everything was running into the software, all the intelligence were running into the software, it gives them a lot of agility, a lot of, lot of speed, and all of the services were deployed in a much more distributed fashion. And your applications were completely become a hardware agnostic or vendor agnostic. And because of this approach, your hardware become much more simplified, much more scalable, much more robust, reliable. And most importantly, it becomes much cheaper now because we do not need to purchase any, any vendor specific hardware to get those intelligence because now we could have a commodity hardware and we're gonna push that intelligence into that hardware to make it as a smart. 
hardware to achieve our purpose so as you could see that that's what the approach was taken by the google facebook amazon but now as we discussed in the part 1 today's enterprise it every single business they want to have their data center as same as google facebook amazon approach and to do that we need to have a some its standard approach which can be followed by every enterprise customer and they can have a data center similar to what these uh google facebook amazons are having it and to achieve that as you could see that the data center virtualization layer is the key to achieve that vision for any enterprise it and that data center virtualization layer is going to create that abstraction not only at the compute level but also at the storage network and the and and, and to be more specific at the entire data center level and and that's what the vision of today's software defined data center so so the so the so the the requirement from any every enterprise it or what this data center virtualization layer is gonna give to the enterprise it is the same operational model of vm what we have seen 20 years back so vm has given us a operational model of a vm where we could create we could programmatically create or delete move or take a snapshot of our vm can i do this same operational model of a vm at the, not only at the compute level but can i do the same programmatically approach of creating deleting restoring things at the data center level and that's what the software defined data center is all about this data center virtualization layer gives us a capability to have a same operational model of a vm what we have seen for the decades now the same operational model is there for your entire data center and that's what your software defined data center is all about so in conclusion if you see that now with this data center virtualization layer which is sitting right in the middle of your software applications and your hardware now this data center virtualization layer is actually become a another abstraction layer where your hardware has become a pool of compute network and the storage capacity because at the end we need a hardware we need a cpu to process the request we need a storage for storing the data we need a network devices for processing the forwarding the packets but it is a vendor independent we do not need to have a vendor specific hardware and that's what make things more simplified and and many more much more economical for the enterprise customers and as you could see that the software layer here is become much more intelligent now every single intelligence whether it for the compute decision whether it's for the storage decision whether it's for network decision that resides into the software and because everything is running into the software it gives us a operational model of a vm to at the data center level and because everything is the software everything is a logical object it gives us a capability of automating the things having a end to end automation of end to end automation and and provisioning and configurations and that's what the power of software defined data center early days 20 years back where the the infrastructure deployment used to take maybe weeks or months of time frame but with this approach with this future design of software defined data center we can get our data center up and running within a minutes or hours that's the power of software defined data center so a lot of people get confused seeing that sddc is another kind of product line what we are having it or what what we assume it as a as a customer but that's not the case in my perception if you ask me sddc is not a product we see sddc as a approach to to simplify the problems what we were having it early days for example if you look at this slide what is the end goal what these folks are doing it here at the end i need a one glass of cold water now early days there was a ice harvesting we used to have a complete ice harvesting plant where we used to have a lot of people involving there you know they are breaking the ice cubes then rectifying it melting into into the water and doing the rectification and just to get a one glass of cold water it might take a weeks or months of time frame but how did we solve this problem we solved this problem with the fact of purifiers right so what we have it with the press of one button within a fraction of second you can get a one glass of cold water so the end objective is the same we at the end what do we want we want a one glass of cold water but the question here is what is the better approach the question here is how fast 
I can get that glass of cold water. And that's what software defined data center is all about. The software defined data center can give us a glass of cold water at much faster pace and agility as compared to what we used to do in early days with the ice harvesting. So that's the power of a software defined data center. And that's what it's all about. Now let's go to our next topic and discuss what exactly makes up a software defined data center or what exactly is, are the building blocks of software defined data center. So when you look at the software defined data center in a software defined data center, all of your infrastructure components are virtualized, whether it's being compute, whether it's being storage, whether it's being network and the, even the control of the data center, everything is virtualized. And most important thing, the entire data center is being controlled by the software. So as you could see that in this particular slide, we have a physical layer, we have a compute storage network contributing at the physical layer. On top of that, we have a virtual infrastructure layer where we have a hypervisor, VMware, we have a ESXi, KVM, hypervisor, Hyper-V, all this hypervisor contributes at, the, at this virtual infrastructure layer, which actually creating a pool of compute storage network capacity. And on top of that, we have a cloud management layer, which actually go and create a self-service automated provisioning kind of portal, where basically we can have automated provisioning of these resources. We also have a software defined data center, also having a, some other critical components like a business continuity, because that's a, one of the very important aspect of any SDDC. So, Business continuity is one of the another important aspect of software defined data center, security compliance, risk, all these policies, all these are the another building block of any software defined data center. And then we have a service management operations, portfolio management become another building block of a software defined data center. So once you combine all these blocks together, we have a software defined data center in place to serve all of our IT operations. And that's what every enterprise IT is looking today now. now Let's talk from the VMware perspective. What are the building blocks of VMware which actually help us to achieve the software defined data center, what we discussed. So look at this slide where you could see that a com in, the, in, in the VMware SDDC world, we have a compute abstraction, what we receive from the vSphere, network abstraction, what, we, what NSX provides us, and then we have a storage abstraction, what a vSAN provides us. So that's what, your virtual, your infrastructure has, has got virtualized with these components. And now basically this SDDC or this virtual infrastructure or components can be put it on private clouds, public clouds, or any of a hybrid cloud as well. On top of that, we have a policy-based management. As you could see that we have a product like VRA, which actually go and automate all the provisioning of our, our infrastructure components. And Combining it all together, that becomes our software defined data center, right? So we have a right there, we have a, all our infrastructure components, storage network and compute. And then basically we have a policy policy driven framework, which actually go and automate and provide, give us a self automated IT kind of provisioning. And not only provisioning also as a monitoring operations tool, like uh, we realize log inside, we realize operations manager, we realize cloud, for the business assessment. So that combining all this product together, we have a software defined data center. And this software defined data center has a capability to support not only traditional or legacy applications, but this software defined data center also has a capability to support today's modern applications, whether it's being a microservices or containers, and then a, a SaaS based applications as well. And then on top of that, we have a something called an end user computing where your horizon or workspace product gets integrated with this infrastructure and give us a, a, a give us access to our applications or desktop anywhere, anytime on any device. So that's what the VMware SDDC architecture looks like. So let's review those, those components again. So compute VMware, we have a, a very powerful vSphere product, been there for decades, virtualizing the physical servers. Then we have a storage, we have a vSAN, which actually giving us virtualizing the storage capabilities. And then we have a, a very powerful product, NSX, which actually virtualize all of your network and security services into software. And on top of that, to manage all these infrastructure components, we have a VRealize suite, where we have a VR ops, log inside, network inside. And that's where you combine all this product together. And that health enterprise IT to achieve the same vision 
of self driven it what google amazon facebook were having it now this approach or this product line of vmware help customer to achieve the same solution what the vision they were having it now what are the benefits of software defined data center obviously it the deployment become much faster you have a 15x faster deployment where early days you were having a one sddc deployment used to take weeks or months of time frame where now with this sddc software driven approach the automated approach your deployment cycle get reduced from months or weeks to maybe days or in fact hours your provisioning become much faster as we discussed simplify day to say day to day operations with built in automation because it's everything is automated so so it becomes a more consistent and reliable deployment every single time when we go and deploy this this kind of infrastructure and your deployments become a risk free repeatable deployments you just have a one design a one consistent design you can deploy it globally so you create it once you design it once and then deploy it multiple times and lower cost total cost of ownership because we are because this software defined data center is a vendor vendor agnostic approach which does not get bind with the underlying vendor so we do not need to rely on any of the vendor specific hardware and this abstraction layer is, is really drastically the way we have seen a significant uh, a tco uh, significant lower tco with the just with the abstraction or uh, compute where we have a server virtualization just imagine when we have the storage and network virtualization in place how much the cost of deploying the data center had got reduced and sddc plays a very important role in reducing those total cost of ownership for enterprise customers so that's what this slide says that the vision of every enterprise it is we have seen over over years that server virtualization just virtualize our servers physical servers into virtual machine then we have seen the next trend of modernizing our data center with the private clouds then what we have seen consuming everything as a service in the public cloud and then this software defined data center is actually taking us to a build a true hybrid cloud where we try to get the best of both the worlds private cloud and public cloud where this two cloud offering merge together and give us best of both the worlds and that's where the sddc help enterprise it to achieve a true hybrid cloud solution and these are the key benefits of software defined data center it deliver an inherently more secure infrastructure it it meet the demands of a dynamic business environment and it gives you a very increased application availability and mobility that's the power of software defined data center and that's the future design of any enterprise it so that's the end of our software defined data center lecture thanks for your time we hope you enjoyed this lecture please like share and subscribe to our youtube channel thank you